this uh, graph over here is the same as this picture here. We're asked to find the volume of the solid obtained by revolving this region about the y-axis using the shell method. And the idea is that if we construct a typical shell perpendicular to the axis of revolution, you have to visualize this as a right circular cylinder. The volume of a right circular cylinder is 2 pi times the radius times the height. Well, this distance right here is the radius to actually to the middle of the shell. And this is h, the height of the shell. Of course, I could draw another shell here, and it would have a different r and a different h. So we're integrating along the x-axis from 0 to the square root of pi over uh, 3. v is 3. Uh, so this is the formula right here. This is the setup of the definite integral. 2 pi times the definite integral from 0 to the square root of pi over 3 times the radius. This is the radius, typical radius, it, from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell is just x. And then 6 sine of the quantity 3x squared will be the height of the shell. So we need to evaluate this definite integral. And it looks like it evaluates 12.5663. And I determine the answer is 4 pi. It looks like that's right. And here is the integral after having used u substitution. And I get the same answer, 12.566, which is 4 pi. So the idea is that if we let u equal 3x squared, du will be 6x dx. And now we, we're ready to substitute. Uh, we're going to rewrite this integral in terms of u. So we've still got a 2 pi out front. That's a constant. When x is 0, u is still 0. Put, put, picture putting 0 in for x right there. When x is the square root of pi over 3, square that and you get pi over 3. 3 times pi over 3 is pi. So that would change that upper limit. And then 6x dx... Those factors right there equal du, and 3x squared equals u. That's how we get from this mess to the sine of u du. And, of course, now we just evaluate the antiderivative for cosine is negative cosine. So I've got 2 pi times, well, uh, negative cosine of u evaluated from 0 to pi. So that's 2 pi times, I like to do it this way, negative cosine of pi minus negative cosine of 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1. The opposite of negative 1 is 1. So I've got 2 pi times 1 for this first parentheses minus. Cosine of 0 is 1. Minus 1. Minus a minus 1 is plus 1. So that's where the 4 pi comes from. 2 times 2 pi. There you go. Hope that helped. I will include a link to the Desmos graph in the final answer.